Yes, well, it is a joy to be here. It's my first time in Morocco. Um, and I was looking through our photos from space and I was trying to find a good one of Morocco. And I realized just like Seattle, there was a lot of cloud cover over ours. So I couldn't show one, but it's really nice to actually be on the ground here in Morocco. Um, I've had a chance to do a little bit of touring and see like the Tower of Hassan um, and uh, make it out to the Kashbah. But uh, I also have enjoyed talking at two of uh, your universities as well. Well, we need really smart young people going into the aerospace industry. And so um, the requirements that you need to be able to go into those industries start when you're very young. You need to be strong in math and in science and technology courses. Um, and so by being an educator and recognizing how early that needs to start and how rigorous those programs need to be, I think that helps them prepare um, the pathway for students that can and go into our engineering schools and to our aerospace industries. Yes, um, more and more space continues to be a global effort. Um, of course, when I was on the International Space Station and helping build it, that was a partnership between five agencies and we've seen 22 countries send astronauts there. But now as we continue to have more and more commercial space flight as well, um, then we're able to have more and more countries involved so that not everyone has to have a full up agency uh, training astronauts, etc., but they can use commercial entities to also be a part of this process um, and so you know it really truly is becoming a global effort. Well, I was talking to some of those young people yesterday and I said, we need you, right? We need talented people thinking about solving hard problems and space is difficult and hard and yet it's very rewarding. So um, I wanted them to see that there is a place for them and their talent and I hope that they use it there and that they go for their big goals and dreams.